All right, guys, let's watch this and talk about it after. What if he finds out that his independent, sophisticated, entrepreneurial girlfriend is a maid who poses with her madam's shoes, clothes, bags, cars? Ah, <sighs> Chineke. Spencer. Spencer is in my house? <sighs> What's up? I beg no vex for me. In a good life, are they fine? I come from a very, very poor family. I beg anything where I could do, anything, anything to appease you, I will do it. I want you to break his heart. Ah, huh. Ma, you say? I want you to dump him. Well, I want Spencer to feel the pain that I felt when he started another relationship while we are still dating. I want him to feel the pain that I felt when I lost his pregnancy, when I was having an altercation with his girlfriend. How can you even fall in love with someone like Spencer? He might have been cruel to you, but he treated me nicely and I feel oh. so guilty for what I did to him. Now why do you keep doing it? Why do you keep treating me like this? Why do you want my past to destroy what we have going? Your past? Spencer, this is who you are. You are a cheat, a liar, a deceiver, and you can never change. No, he's not like that. He pampered me and treated me nicely. Do you want to be with my maid? Me? What? The same person who wears my clothes, my wigs, drives my car. Spencer, you are in love with a poor girl who's acting to be rich. What, you're a maid? Yes. I'm Don't touch me! Why do you feel the need to be fake? All right, guys, so let's talk about this one in the eyes of my ex. Now, <laughs> here we go again with another fake life scenario. You know, when people are playing out this fake life, they feel good about it. You know, they convince themselves almost that this is the life that they deserve. You know, and in most cases, they use it to oppress others because... You know, why would you go and, you know, borrow hair, borrow clothes, borrow shoe and start taking pictures with it? Knowing very well that people will be like, oh, I love this, your picture. Ah, this is nice. Ah, your hair is good. Oh my God, God when? All these things that you draw people in to start wishing and dreaming, yet none of those are yours. Fake life is horrible. It's expensive, as you all know, but it's also bad. And in this scenario, you guys can see that it's the maid that went and took the madame's clothes, hair, shoes, dress, everything, and was, you know, trying to, you know, catch crews. <laughs> Sadly enough, her crews caught the ex of madame. So, uh, you guys really got to go and watch it. Uh, go and watch this one. The link to the movie is at the bottom. Um, but um, it's really interesting how... Uh, as much as people think that they can keep up with fake life, you know, at the end it always destroys them, you know, because not just that you use money that you're supposed to use to better yourself to be faking uh, a high life, um, you also lose track of things that are important. You know, because your mind, they are just busy thinking of the next way you can oppress people. So those brain cells are just being wasted on looking for who to oppress instead of bettering your life. Um, and, you know, that's one of the things that are so sad about this whole fake life thing. You know, people put in so much effort into oppressing others if you see them sitting down going through their phone they're just looking for the next thing they will use to oppress people on their phone flipping through pages is not what it my dear is not what it you know and anybody you end up starting a relationship with based on that fake life you can't keep up you can't keep up. I mean, you might be lucky and push it to, you know, a, a reasonable time. But sooner or later, you're going to cast because you can't keep up with fake life. Fake life is expensive and considering the fact that it's already fake for you, means that you don't have, truly have the funds to support it. 
So you just be, you know, cat mousing yourself until one day you will still get to the end of the road and, uh, you know, everything would go on fire. So, you know, guys, ladies, both people do these things. Stop, stop the fake life. Be real, be natural. You know, it's going to let you think better. It's going to let you save more, invest in yourself you know and be you you know because i've seen people that would post things online and personally i know for a fact that they are still begging other people for money you know i know that they're still begging people for money somehow when you see their post on instagram on you'll be wondering ah, ah didn't this guy just come and ask me for money you know or didn't this girl just tell me that they are down to their last 1k where are they now getting this bag from you know so it's the reality of things the society has kind of structured us or uh, to think that you know looking good means you are living good but you know everybody knows that's not true it's not even close to being true you know so just live your life, guys. Live your life. Forget this fake life. Forget social media, you know, oppressions and, you know, looking for who to oppress. Forget all that stuff. Just live your life, you know. You'll be a better person just by doing that alone. And that's all I have for this one, guys. If you love this kind of content, please like, share, follow, subscribe. This is CJ from Atari Studios. And as always, I'm here to deliver sense.